Have you ever wondered how to install Active Directory? It's a crucial process for any IT professional. And today we're going to break it down into easy to follow steps. The first step is to install a fresh copy of Windows Server on your designated server machine. This is the foundation on which the rest of the process will be built. Once the server is up and running, the next step is to configure the network settings. This involves setting a static IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway for your server. Also, the DNS settings need to be configured to point to the server's own IP address. After the network settings are in place, it's time to install Active Directory Domain Services or ADDS. This is done through the Server Manager by selecting Add Roles and Features, checking Active Directory Domain Services and following the wizard's prompts. Next, the server needs to be promoted to a domain controller. After the ADDS installation, a notification will prompt you to promote this server to a domain controller. Here, you'll add a new forest and enter the root domain name. Also, set the directory services restore mode password. Once the server has rebooted, log in using your domain admin credentials. Open Server Manager to verify the ADDS role is installed. Then open Active Directory Users and Computers, or ADUC, to manage users and groups. You can also open Active Directory Sites and Services, or ADSS, to manage sites and replication. Now it's time to configure the DNS. Open DNS Manager and verify the presence of the AD DNS zones. Ensure the server's DNS settings point to its own IP address and that the DNS server is reachable from client machines. Optionally, you may also want to configure group policy objects for security and management, install and configure DHCP if needed, and implement additional domain controllers for redundancy. Finally, it's time to test and maintain. Ensure that users can log in using their domain credentials, test DNS resolution for domain resources, and verify replication between domain controllers. Regularly monitor event logs, backup Active Directory, and keep the server updated with the latest patches and security updates. It's important to note that this overview is a guide, and always refer to official Microsoft documentation and best practices for detailed instructions and considerations specific to your environment. In this video, we've covered the installation process for Active Directory, from installing Windows Server, configuring network settings, installing and configuring Active Directory domain services, promoting the server to a domain controller, configuring DNS, optional additional configurations, testing, and regular maintenance. Remember, Active Directory is a powerful tool, but it requires careful setup and maintenance. With these steps, you're well on your way to mastering Active Directory installation. Thanks for tuning in, and stay savvy, friends.